Hey guys, Targo Cycling FPV. I'm getting ready to do a, an install of a receiver into a petrol HDLRC petrol. Let me show you what I'm working on right here. So here's a, here's the uh, here's the drone itself. Uh, I'll try to clean my bench up. I got to wipe it down here a little bit, but I figured I'd do this because uh, it's been a while since I used this receiver, and I had to go back and look at my notes and figure, you know what, might as well go do a new do a new video on this one anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be running S bus or I bus, however the customer wants to do. But no matter what, the um, just this camera. Sorry guys. Let me just, all right, no matter what though, we need to go through the wiring, right? So the wiring on this one is pretty simple. The yellow cable is PPM, and if you're not gonna use PPM, you can go ahead and remove this cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quickly. To do that, we're just gonna lift this tab up right here, okay? And then once we lift it up, I'm just gonna use like a really, really sharp pair of tweezers here. Lift it up just enough, you don't have to break it, but just enough to pull that wire out. Save that wire, it's a good wire. You may wanna use it down the road. Usually, um, usually, God darn, what is wrong with this thing? Hold on, sorry. I guess I'm a lot shorter than and my, my, my uh, camera will admit, oh my, there. I thought I was getting taller, but the camera's telling me I'm not. All right, so anyways, um, so we'll put this aside. If you ever want to use it again or do something else with it, it'd be no, you know, no problem. Uh, so what we've got left is we've got white, red, and black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> you can, HLRC already gives you the wires here, and I hate to really take these out because they've already been soldered, and I don't want to open the board up if I don't have to to install this. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trim these back uh, and, and get this done uh, by, by binding them together like that, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to cut this. So we don't need that much wire at all. So we're just going to cut this like that right there. You can save this if you want. I'm going to go ahead and strip these and tin these real quickly. So let's go ahead and strip them. One. <clears throat> by the way, it is January 2nd, 2021, so I wish you all a happy new year. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes here. We're going to start doing a lot more videos of product that we carry. So you guys can at least get, and, and, and the funny thing is, is here, you're not going to get a thing of a, oh, this is an awesome product or it's not. We're not doing anything like that. We're going to do videos of how to use them, how to install them. And then we're going to be honest opinion about them, whether, you know, we, we're not affiliates here. We, we, we buy stuff with our own money, so we'll give you an honest review of it. Um, but these guys, these affiliates, I think 2021 is going to be my year to call out every, every affiliate uh, hack job that does fake reviews just so that they can make some money. Uh, their influence, whatever, the fact that they even have influence scares me, but the fact that they can do that and make money and tell people the wrong stuff really is a little bit more concerning. So this year I've decided to make it my goal to, uh, if I see a review that doesn't make sense, I think I'm just going to call them out on it. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> that's besides the point right now. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and tin these up. So one, two, and three. All right, make sure to then clean off your soldering iron. All right, now we need to get some um, small, um, small heat treat. Sorry, my dog keeps opening the door, so you're going to hear some noise here. Uh, let's get some small heat shrink here. So we'll cut off three pieces. doesn't matter the color, so I'm just going to use all the same color, blue. <clears throat> go ahead and put the heat shrink down on the cable itself right here. Then we're going to go ahead and solder the first one. So we're gonna angle the black wire out. I'm gonna take my tweezers, flat tweezers. I'm just gonna go ahead and very quickly, very easily, I should probably have my glasses on for this, so I may have to stop with my glasses. Just, yeah, I need my glasses. Not these glasses, these glasses, the Magoo glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just going to uh, line it up. There we go, so it's done. If you do end up with any points like I just did, just re-solder it. You don't want anything poking through. I may want to put some more solder on there. Hold on a second. Perfect. There's one. All right. I'll go ahead and do the next one now. Next. Now, if this thing keeps running away from me like it's doing me, uh, let me see where I put my the helping hands here. I had a, here they are. So you can always use some helping hands to hold the wire in place. In this case, the red wire is running, so I'm just gonna put, and again, guys, we sell all this stuff on our website. So if you need helping hands or anything else, just go look them up. Uh, under soldering tools or what have you, and you will find them just the same stuff I use. Nothing, I'm gonna use anything here on this bench, anything. 
Everything here on this bench is available on our website. Soldering pad, solder, flux pad, and the whole works. It's all available, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this one next. And the last one will be our S bus or I bus, depending on what you plan on running. It's still the same cable. And let's put it on this side here. Okay, we're going to put the yellow wire in our helping hand so it doesn't run away. Just like that. Put a little bit more solder on it just because. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it up, pull the wires out of the way, and there we go. So now that these are done, all we're going to do now, we can remove the helping hands, take my Mr. Maloo goggles off, go back to my regular glasses, and we can get the heat, heat uh, gun here, and let's line up our, uh, our um, heat shrink, just like that. So that one's done. Line up the next one. Oops. Last one here. Do that as well. Once these are good and hot, I always like to, I mean, obviously be careful when you do it. I always like to tell people look, twist up the wires and press down on the um, key trick itself. It is hot. But when you press it down, it's going to make them kind of adhere together. That little bit of uh, where they're going to bind there. And um, then you can go ahead and plug in your cable. I don't know if I can see. So I'm going to go like this. There we go. All right, I'm going to power this up real quickly using our smoke stopper uh, at the end of our cable. Again, if you need a smoke stopper, we have those on the side as well. <coughs> Okay, got our light going, ready to bind. All right, everything here looks good. So you're good to go. So this is how you do this uh, particular eight, eight and 18 channel Fly Sky uh, receiver. If you have any questions, guys, <clears throat> as always, if you have any questions, you can always go to our um, uh, Facebook group, right? And uh, please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Other than that, God bless, be safe, have fun, and most of all, spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Make 2021 the year you spend the most time you can with them. Uh, and uh, other than that, you can always fly there. Talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.